dear students welcome to the 19th online class of control system engineering we are studying chapter of steady state error and in last class we studied about steady state error specification game designed to meet steady state error specification steady state error for disturbances steady state error for disturbances and how to convert a non unit feedback system into a unit feedback system and finding its steady state error dear students today we will complete this lecture and after this lecture you will be able to find steady state error sensitivity to the parameter changes dear students the contents of this lecture are example for steady state error for non unit feedback system steady state error for disturbances and sensitivity and we will study few examples for sensitivity dear students in the given example we have to find steady state actuating error for the system given in the figure where input is step and we have to repeat for ramp input dear students we know the relation for steady state actuating error for a closed loop control system first we will find steady state actuating error for step input and for this r of s will be equal to 1 over s in this example g1 of s is equal to 1 g2 of s equal 100 divided by s into s plus 10 and h1 of s equal 1 divided by s plus 5 we also realize we also realize that ea1 of infinity will be equal to e a of infinity because g1 of s equal 1 so we will use the relation given to find steady state error as said that as said that for step input r of s will be equal to 1 over s so replacing r of s by 1 over s we get steady state actuating error equal 0 now for ramp input r of s will be equal to 1 over s 1 over s square and replacing r of s by 1 over s square in the steady state actuating error relation we get a value of half or 1 over 2 dear students now we will study effect of disturbances on the steady state error of a non unit feedback system to continue our discussion for steady state errors for system with non unity feedback look at the system the system given in the figure representing a non unit feedback system with disturbance signal we will derive a general equation for steady state error and then determine the parameters of system in order to derive error to zero for zero for step inputs and step disturbances dear students as we know that steady state error for a system is equal to the difference of input and output at steady state and using the relation for actuating error and output of the system we will find the relation relation for steady state error and that will be equal to limit s approaches to 0 as e of s and this will be equal to limit s approaches to 0 1 minus g1 of s into g of s into g2 of s divided by 1 plus g1 of s into g2 of s into h of s 
and this term will be multiplied by r of s minus g2 of s divided by 1 plus s g1 of s into g2 of s into h of s multiplied by t of s and this both term as a whole will be multiplied by Laplace operator s for final value theorem it is assumed that roots of the polynomial 1 plus g1 of s into g2 of s into h of s are in left half plane now as we are limiting the discussion to the step inputs and step disturbances we will replace both r of s and d of and d of s by 1 over s so our e of infinity will be equal to the relations given in the last equation of the slide dear students as we have achieved the relation for steady state error having disturbances and non unit feedback system having step input and step disturbance the relation is given as a second equation of the slide right. now for zero steady state error the limit s approaches to zero g1 of s into g2 of s divided by limit s approaches to zero one plus g1 of s into g2 of s into h of s must be equal to equal to one and second part of the equation that is limit s approaches to 0 g2 of s divided by limit s approaches to 0 1 plus g1 of s into g2 of s into h of s must be equal to 0 so with the above both equations a zero steady state error is achieved or we can further say that for zero steady state error the system must be stable g1 of s must be a type 1 system g2 of s must be a type 0 system and h of s must be a type 0 system with a dc gain of unity dear students now we will study sensitivity and this is the last topic of this chapter during the design process you may consider the changes in the values of parameter affect the behavior of a system ideally parameter changes due to heat or other causes and should not appreciably affect a system performance but in fact a system function is dependent on parameters so changing these parameter may also meter may also affect functions of the system so we define sensitivity as the degree to which changes in the system parameters affect the system transfer function and hence the performance is called sensitivity sensitivity a system with zero sensitivity have no effect on the transfer function and is ideal which means that if changes occurs in system parameters that will have no effect on the system transfer function system transfer function dear students now we will understand sensitivity with help of an example for this consider a function which is equal to k divided by k plus a where k and a both are parameters of the function now if k equals 10 and a equal 100 the function will have a value of 0 0.091 and now if parameter a triples to 300 then function will have a value of 0 0.03.032 now we observe that 
what changes in parameter a has occurred and what percent change in function value change in value of parameter a is given by is given by new value minus old value divided by old value and this is equal to 300 minus 100 divided by 100 and this equals to or it shows that a 200 percent change in the wedge in the value of a parameter a and with this 200 change we have a change in functional value of f equals new value of function f minus old value of function f and whole divided by old value of old value of function f equals 0 0.032 minus 0 0.091 whole divided by 0 0.091 and this equals to minus 0 0.65 which shows a minus 65 percent change 65 percent change so we can say that a 200 percent change in the value of parameter a has caused minus 65 percent change in the value of a function so function has reduced sensitivity to changes in the para to changes in the parameter a in general feedback system have reduced sensitivity to parameter dear students now formally or mathematically we will define sensitivity as the ratio of fractional change in the function to the fractional change in the parameter as the fractional change of the parameter meter approaches zero that is if we have function f and parameter p sensitivity of function f with respect to parameter p will be equal to limit del p approaches zero apply applied to fractional change in function f divided by fractional change in parameter p or with solving and applying the limit we get sensitivity of function with respect to parameter p equals p over f multiply by multiply by partial f over partial p dear students now with the help of example we will study sensitivity in this example for a given system in the figure we have to calculate the sensitivity of a closed loop transfer function to changes in parameter a and how would you reduce the sensitivity first of all we will find transfer function of a closed loop system which will be equal to k divided by s square plus a s plus k now, now sensitivity of transfer function t with respect to parameter a will be equal to parameter divided by function means a divided by t into partial fraction of function with respect to parameter p so here it will be partial fraction of t with respect to a on solving this we get sensitivity of transfer function t with respect to parameter a equals minus a laplace operator s divided by s square plus a s plus k which is in part a function of value of s for any value of s however an increase in k reduce the sensitivity of a closed loop transfer function to changes in parameter a dear students now with the help of example we will try to understand sensitivity in the given example we have to find sensitivity of a steady state error to changes in parameter k and parameter a 
with ramp in ramp input for a given closed loop system in the figure now we will start the solution in solution first of all we will check the stability and assuming that our closed loop system is a stable system if you look at the forward part transfer function we have a single integrator which means that it is a type 1 system so its steady state error will be equal to 1 over velocity constant or equal to a to a divided by k now the sensitivity of steady state error to changes in parameter a will be a divided by e multiplied by partial fraction of steady state error with respect to parameter to parameter a and this will give us a value of 1 students in the similar way we will find sensitivity of a steady state error with respect to parameter k and this will be equal to k divided by e multiplied by partial fraction of steady state error with respect to parameter a and this will give us value of minus 1 so the changes in either parameter a or parameter k are directly reflected in steady state error there is no reduction or increase in sensitivity the negative sign indicates a decrease in steady state error for increase in gain or parameter k as steady state error is directly proportional to a and is inversely proportional to parameter k dear students in the next example we have to find sensitivity of a steady state error to changes in parameter k and a for a system shown in the figure for this system input use is step this system basically consists of three parameters which are gain k a and b now students we will start a solution first of all we will find the stability of a system after finding the stability we will find steady state error if you look at forward part transfer function in this in this we don't have pure integrator or pole at origin so this is a type 0 system and for type 0 system steady state error is given by 1 divided by 1 plus position constant where position where position constant is equal to limit s approaches to 0 g of s on substituting the values we get steady state error equals a dot b divided by a dot b plus k now the sensitivity of steady state error to changes in parameter a is given by a divided by e multiply by partial fraction of steady state error with respect to parameter a on solving this we get k divided by a b plus k students now we will find sensitivity of steady state error to changes in parameter k and this will and this will be equal to k divided by e multiply by partial fraction of steady state error with respect to parameter k 
and this will give us the value of minus k divided by a dot b dot b plus k now results of both sensitivity relation shows that changes in parameter k and parameter a are less than unit for positive value of a and b so we say that feedback system in this case give us a reduced sensitivity to variations in both parameters of a closed loop system now if any of you have any questions please ask